Today's episode of Wikisift is brought to you by the Chunky Glutton Bar and Grill. Open seven days a week, our food is not very good. Look what we do when given like huge technologies like AI, we make it recreate steamed hams infinitely. So, okay, Skitch, are you familiar with um, the Twitch channel um, called Nothing Forever? No, I'm not familiar with that Twitch channel. So basically, basically what they did was they they created an AI controlled show that just runs 24 seven based on mm-hmm. Seinfeld. And so each scene was either inside Jerry's apartment or Jerry doing stand up comedy or, you know, there's mm-hmm. like three different possible scenes. And as like the, the four main characters all the dialogue is completely AI generated and uh, done with text to speech. And they have like, like very crude 3D models. It kind of looks like early 90s CG. Nice. It was really entertaining. Um, very bizarre. It got Twitch banned. <laughs> it got Twitch banned. So uh, what happened was they had a bug that didn't really happen for a while. But then all of a sudden... It was just generating blank scene after blank scene. Um, and it just did this like 40 times in a row. And they're like, OK, something's wrong with uh, with this uh, AI model. We're going to temporarily switch it over to a different AI model. Um, the different AI model that they switched over to did not have the same level of moderation on the content that mm-hmm. it used as a basis. And Jerry went on stage uh, doing stand up and told a bunch of really offensive jokes and the channel got reported and taken down. So, so basically because of the, uh, yeah, because of the training data it had and the lack of moderation yeah. oversight, it just sort of like, it, yeah. it basically pulled a, a, a Michael Richards moment there. Yeah. Yeah. So um, <laughs> AI it imitates reality. Yeah. It was a 14 day <laughs> ban. Um, they're not back up yet. Um, they they have appealed the ban um, and they said th- they won't be using that AI model anymore. It was just like an unfortunate <laughs> situation that they did not they did not expect this D- to happen. You do don't say you don't say they won't be using that yeah. anymore. OK, it's like I, I this is why I think the the steamed hams one is like they're at least vetting what's being generated because you can see the timestamps at the bottom. It's not like live. Oh, interesting. Mm hmm. OK, so, yeah, so. There, someone did another similar one that's entirely the steamed hams Simpsons a bit, and the, it only generates variations of that. Just done, done, done a little differently every time. It's mm-hmm. yeah. At some it's, point, he talks about making strange. steamed Gary Francione for well, some reason. Well, uh, well, no, no, you, you don't know what steamed Gary Francione is. No, I don't. I mean. I mean, it's a regional dial. It's a regional dish, you know, from, uh, <laughs> apparently it is also that's not a fire in the kitchen. That's sun dogs. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Welcome to Wiki Sift, a shallow dive into pop culture and fandom. Today, we're going to be talking about international sports teams. <laughs> At least he didn't call it wiki shit like last time. <laughs> <laughs> what? I never called it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to warn you, Tom, we are going to go international, but we have to make a slight detour because there's one area of American, North American sports, primarily American sports that I did not tap until last time. And I have to make a, a slight like uh, addendum on that before we go out into okay. the rest of the world here. So I'm Tom. He's an evil genius white. And today I am joined by I'm here. Oh, right. I'm Steve. <laughs> I should probably start with that. Uh, I'm Steve, and uh, I am normally on Friday Night Fan Fiction, but that's been on hiatus for 10 months, and this is how I get my comedy kicks now. Our special guest, Steve-O, who is on every week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I got that uh, Tidus Laugh Widget downloaded for you. Nice. <laughs> nice. You're welcome. <laughs> um, and I'm uh, Michael Skitch, but everyone just calls me Skitch. Um most of the time I'm working on the Dice Funk D&D podcast and doing other shenanigans on the side right now. But um, for today, I'm here as the resident expert 
Um, in bizarre sports related stuff here. Wiki Sift is a willfully ignorant fandom podcast where we don't actually directly consume media and just read what fans wrote about online. Because I could read all 105 Wizard of Oz books, but I'd rather go online and find out that there are 105 Wizard of Oz books. Are there? No, there. What? Ow. Yeah. My head hurts. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mm -hmm. geez. Only a few of them were written by the original author, and... So doesn't that just count as fan fiction? Somewhat. Uh, Most of them are considered (laughs) canon, but there are some that aren't. It gets very complicated, and we can probably tackle that in a future episode. But today specifically, (laughs) we're going to continue the rabbit hole on weird sports things. Um, Skitch (laughs) told us all kinds of amazing stuff about minor league sports teams last time. And he has all kinds more stuff to talk about. So uh, here he is to further elaborate. All right. Well, for, okay, Tom, I got a question for you. Okay. Yes. Um, question number one. Are you ready to try to understand the uh, depths we're going to go into? And I was supposed to synchronize with a picture loading in the Discord channel. But no, it's deciding not to load. Great job, <laughs> Discord. Um, We're already off to a great start here. I will, I will remedy the situation. I got a cheat code for this. Oh, that's a really great it, logo. It's just like a poo with like flies. No, no, no. Allow, yeah. me, allow me to re-say this. Okay. My question for you is, uh, Tom, is are you ready to dive into the depths of some bizarre sports related what antics? What is that? Because I am. I would have assumed that that's just a general meme, but uh, no, I think this is very relevant to what you're going to show us. It is relevant to what we're going to show us because one facet of sports I did not dive much into, and I'm not going to do a deep dive into it today because uh, I only had a few hours to research this and I wanted to pick out some prime examples for the time being, is college sports in America. Um, And that's going to be our initial tangent before we go overseas to some other fun pastures and such. So uh, when it comes to sports with interesting team names and and mascots in particular, uh, one area of sports in America outside of like the minor leagues and stuff that has a trove of bizarre antics um, are college sports. And that on screen, do you want to guess what the name of this mascot is on screen? Okay, let me first uh, describe it to people who are listening, because this kind of... Uh Um, this is a mascot that looks like an old man um, pointing at uh, the camera with a sort of Uncle Sam kind of look to him, um, at least the way mm-hmm. he's gesturing. I mean, fi- like his mm-hmm. physical appearance, he kind of looks like a cross between Ebenezer Scrooge and um, the the hecklers in the Muppet show, Stetler and Waldorf. <laughs> it's pretty good description there. Yeah. Uh, any comments, Steve, about what we're seeing here? It also hasn't loaded for me. I think I might have to restart my Discord. (laughs) Oh, no. no. Uh, He's wearing a a top hat and a bright yellow bow tie. Okay, it just popped in. Ah! (laughs) (laughs) You're not ready for this, (laughs) Devo. No, I'm ready. I just, I I didn't realize I was supposed to get aroused so fast (laughs) on the show. (laughs) Well, well, that, listen, okay. That 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 man does not have bedroom eyes for you, buddy. Uh, he is a uh, he is a <laughs> boisterous entity. He is the mascot. Is it, did the Monopoly man skin Ebenezer Scrooge and just wear his flesh? That's a pretty good guess there. So this is the mascot for the Wake Forest University basketball team, the Demon Deacons. Um, Excuse and me? This is the Demon. Yes, the Demon Deacons is the name of the sports teams for Wake Forest University. What? Okay. <laughs> and I'm just like, just the fact they're just called the Demon Deacons is a great name. So I, can say. I do find it appropriate that their logo is just W and F. That's just the university's logo. They don't have like I couldn't find other specific logos of note. That's just the Wikipedia page pull up there. But like, just the fact their mascot is just the Demon Deacon. There you go. That's our wow. starting point. So we could go way too far, way too long with a variety of weird mascots and team names and such. But I'm just gonna give a handful of like other primo options, including a trio of teams with mascots that could totally 
pass off as terrible Sonic add-on characters down the Ooh, line here. So I'm so ready. So when you think of like when you think of animals that'd be appropriate for a sport, a uh, uh, school, or any organization to name their team after, what are some that jump to the front of your cerebral cortexes? Um, appropriate or inappropriate? Appropriate, inappropriate. They're the same thing in this show. So go ahead with your answers. <sighs> I, I want to go Repeat for like, the question. The, I've been staring at this demon deacon since you started <laughs> talking. So the demon deacon is asking you, Steve. Uh, I'm like really trying to think of the most inappropriate animal possible. I'm, I'm struggling here. Um, oh, just an inappropriate animal as a mascot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um a black I widow, I, I guess. I would, I would say there, ferret. <laughs> ferret. Ferret. Ferrets are cute. Mm hmm. Blobfish. Mm -hmm. um, well, okay. Uh, yeah, blob Pla plankton. Pa fucking yeah. plankton. Yeah. Plankton. Oh, love it. Love it. I there is there are seahorses as teams in the in the world. There are oh, teams no. that are the seahorses. That's close. We're not going to be quite there yet. Are they anatomically accurate seahorses? Oh, uh, gosh. listen. We're not going to explore that yet. But <laughs> first things first. Uh, we got the University of California Santa Cruz, whose team name is. The banana slugs. Okay. I'm down. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, their mas their mascot is uh the boisterous and always fun to be around. Sammy the slug. There you go. You got a Sammy there. <laughs> Give me a wave there. I, I kind of find him cute. Yeah, Sammy the Slug, great yeah. mascot, you know. It's it's, it's that gargantuan te it's a teenage mutant ninja turtle but yellow. Yeah, he exactly. he actually he looks like a tertiary character on Ninja Turtles like yeah. when they start introducing Hi guys, all the Can I join you for pizza? <laughs> <laughs> and his, his they, they... weapon is just a giant pizza cutter. <laughs> the, the 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 banana slugs also have a I'll cut your head off. <laughs> that's his catchphrase. <laughs> no, 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 that, that, that's a, that plays it well with the fight song for the banana slugs. <laughs> it says it on the box of the action figure. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> <you're not laughs> the uh, the banana slugs have a fight song, which is just simply listed as banana slugs racing down the field. I'm not sure how that's a fight okay. song, but that <laughs> is what it is. Okay. <laughs> Um, eventually going down the field uh if you want to read more about it just go to ghostslugs.com um <laughs> that's their website i don't trust that i don't trust that <laughs> name at all that made me snort <laughs> <laughs> so there you go the, like it's kind of funny i was showing this to a co-worker who is from like that part of california like oh yeah the banana slugs they just they're just no property. The more there. I stare at it, the more I think it's just splinter tripping. Like he's <laughs> looking at the turtles, and this is I what made he another sees. funny. <laughs> I cut your Everything head off. is funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey kids, <laughs> tell your parents I'll cut your head off. <laughs> okay. And well, say no right. to drugs. <laughs> Don't sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we got we got another example. So one thing I find fascinating is the number of teams out there that will have the word fighting in some form in their mm. names. There's you know, there's just like the fighting whatever um like uh we have a team later on we'll talk about that has the word fighting oh is there a religious school that has their fight their uh team uh, like the fighting spirit oh good that's a name that i, I didn't the, find one yet the, i'm the pretty sure there partners. is one out there <laughs> well i mean like before the recording tom showed me a like a christian school that had like a knockoff denver broncos logo for yeah. their team the stampedes which is <laughs> funny stuff it's so like it's blatant trademark infringement except like oh no no we have a circle in the eye pupil as opposed to a vertical line it's a different logo entirely <laughs> don't sue us <laughs> but um but but there's one team that i i look at like what what is this going on here? What's going on here? And let me introduce you to another team. This is from the uh this is from the state, the University of Delaware. May I introduce you to the Delaware Fighting Blue Hens? Okay, the logo you oh. sent me just says Delaware Basketball, and I actually thought yeah. that was their team name. 
No, no, it's the team name, but I'll show you. I, I, I'll spare you the logo for a moment here. Let's. <laughs> Our basketball team, we are the Delaware Basketballs. Well, that's the, well again. There is a logo for the team, but I'm, right. gonna, I'm that's the punchline here. Well, I'm going to introduce you to their mascot, U D, uh, spelled Y O ca- capital Y lowercase O capital U capital D lowercase E E. It's it's like this the um, third member of Banjo wow. Kazooie. It's Banjo Kazooie and Yudi here. It's just. a character from a Frank Herbert novel. The, the, uh-huh. I'm getting Tumgas vibes from that name. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm getting Lukey now, vibes from the from the splaying though. That is definitely a saucy bird. <laughs> it sure is. And the reason I want to save the logo for last. This is Yudi trying way too hard to act as the the new blue hero to replace Sonic the Hedgehog. Because here is Yudi right there. <laughs> Just... Is this not an advertisement for a fried chicken restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> it looks a lot like Foghorn Leghorn. It looks like something you'd see in Arkansas. And if you want an actual team logo for the Blue Hens, I'll show you the actual original, the actual full logo here. So fighting Blue Hens. Are, are blue hens an actual thing or is that like uh, their fictional mascot animal? Yeah, well, I, I like if you look for the word blue hens, the first thing that sh- uh, pulls up here, but there is Delaware blue hens. It is a blue strain of the American gamecock, actually. So it is an okay. actual animal. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you said a funny word. <laughs> uh-huh. I, I said American. Uh, and it was like, uh, well, you know, this, 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 is what a, this is what a Delaware blue hen oh, wow. looks like there. So that's a pretty yeah. good. Hmm. I would not fuck with that bird. <laughs> Listen, you know, at least, at least it's an actual animal. My high school I went to, our mascot was the green bears. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but you know. Wait, is that like a, a covert name for weed or something? The green bears? I wish. <laughs> I wish it was. It used to be the green arrows. Oh, uh, someone's been taking the green bear. <laughs> hey kid, hey kid, I got a, I got a, like I got two ounces of green bear for you here. <laughs> got a fresh supply of green bear, man. Dude, like this green bear is so fresh, man. I mean, you're not prepared for this, dude. <laughs> you're gonna feel so grizzly. So it occurs to me that I didn't at all describe the uh, the banana slug mascot, but I feel like it's better left up to the listener's imagination based on all the stuff that we already said. Just imagine yeah. a yellow ninja turtle with antennae. Yeah, there we go. Like that. So it's a it's a pretty it's just like the, a very smiley a demonically smiley turtle. You know what? You know what? It, it looks like what would happen if Roger Corman wanted to make a knockoff Ninja Turtles movie, <laughs> and that was the best they could get for the uh, for the main character. So okay, so the 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 blue hens, the actual animal blue hen, um, remarkably accurate. I didn't really think blue is something that shows up in that kind of animal but uh uh i guess you know peacocks um yeah the the logo itself kind of it's it's a blue hand sticking its head out of a golden ring and wagging a finger very sonic vibes mm-hmm. i'm getting from <laughs> it <laughs> i mean the, yes. just the fact that it's a golden ring really helps <laughs> yeah like the blue and gold motif is very fun there yeah i mean like in all honesty like i really do like the um the look of the, the blue hens logo the design of uh of yudi it, you know, it, it does is pretty feel great. very sega to introduce a tragic add-on character named cock the hen <laughs> now i'm gonna point out that there there are actual alter there's actually several mascots that were made before yudi because the blue hens have been around since um, the blue hen was the original mascot from 1911. That's a long time ago. That's yeah. So we got two, some two. we got some great not nightmare fuel pictures of prior iterations of the blue hen's mascot before UD. So like for example, there's this picture from 1966 of a blue hen kidnapping a child. And that, um, no, 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 that child is going for the blue ribbon and the chicken choking competition. <laughs> uh, we got. <laughs> uh we got we got we got this picture from 1970 of a hey, blue... it's sam the eagle no, hold on that's yeah. that angle that yeah. looks like what's that meme or 
Yeah, where Principal Skinner's like looking down at you from from below. From <laughs> oh, oh, it's the C- it's, it's uh Seymour pathetic. Yeah, pathetic. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Also, I am a little concerned that the picture's cut off from below the waist. <laughs> Considering the angle we are looking at, I do not want to know what the photographer might have been doing. I'm, just, I'm borderline thinking that this blue head is going to have like a JoJo stand pop out of nowhere and just kick your ass, you know, just like that. Um, then we got this picture from 1991, which is somehow in grayscale. That is a, that's of- a mythical. That's a cryptid. That is a cryptid <laughs> bird right there. That is a cryptid bird. All right. OK, we go from cryptid um, and then we go to like. Uh, Does SCP go to, um, have uh, something on this? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then a year later, a year later, we go from this cryptid looking thing to this what? nightmare children's show version of the blue hen. Okay, that, so, is, that is definitely a fried chicken mascot this, now. This looks like a Teletubby with like, it's like, okay, it's a blue hen wearing what looks like a giant yellow diaper. And he's waving these <laughs> tiny little human hands. It's <laughs> a really small subsection of the furry parade that year. Uh, now, the caption says, waving to the fans is our spirited blue head. And, and then there's and then there's another picture of the quote unquote original fighting blue hand that was published in 2003. But this was after the the UD era. Um you got to keep in mind, Uni has an entire page to themselves that goes over the history, the chronology. <laughs> this chicken is dangerous and still at large. But like the entire Uni page, it's just, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so like, like this, is a, this is an elaborate Wikipedia page with like, with a bunch of like. It's just, gone through so many redesigns. Yep. Yes. It's just it's like. So- I'm looking at the way that it's that UD is spelled, and it is definitely a canceled hybrid Nintendo console between the Wii U and the 3DS. The UD. Well, and that's why I was like, this, like, a, this, like, it's the, uh, this, uh, this is almost borderline. Is ukulele a little bit of trademark infringing on UD Ooh, here? Is yeah. that what's happening here? I don't know. But, anyways. I also love this one here. In the 1930s, the initial physical mascot was a live blue chicken that was tended to by members of the cheerleading team. It is unclear that it was a blue hen or a chicken with blue feathers, and it's believed that there are no true descendants of the fighting blue hens of Revolutionary War times. What? Yeah. Wait. uh, Okay. Of Revolutionary War times. So it's not like the Revolutionary Army used them. Uh, because okay, the men in the revolu- the men uh, okay, according to the University of Delaware, UD's colors are blue and gold because of its great 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 grandfather was awarded the gold medal for valor during the Battle of Trenton in the American Revolutionary War. The men in the company commanded by Captain Jonathan Caldwell actually carried blue hens with them into combat in order to hold cockfights in their spare time. What? It is said that the men under Captain Caldwell had bravery in battles that was comparable to their ch- fighting blue hen chickens. So yes, this is all tied to cockfighting. That's what what the wow. origins of beauty is uh that's a little tragic revolutionary war era cockfighting. if you had asked me why do you think their colors are blue and gold i would have said because they're on opposite sides of the color wheel that's just basic color theory <laughs> this is not <laughs> no the, uh, <laughs> this is not the road no, i no, would no. have gone down now, I will say, that I'll end this on a good note. Okay, here's one thing I'll say as a strong positive thing about UD. Okay, quote, while UD appears masculine and can have male-female performance, it is officially androgynous, neither male nor female. So it is a non-binary icon of a mascot. You, you know what? And you know what? Hell, hell yeah. You know, making it just a canonically non-binary mascot. That is uh, good energy right there. I was going to comment that like <laughs> hens are female. And so to name a team, the blue hens, that is probably entirely male players is a little interesting. <laughs> um, unless this is a girls team and I just didn't know. Also, what's really funny is that the blue hen is actually not a recognized chicken breed. That's, okay. just, that's the first line <laughs> in the history section of the Delaware Blue Hen Wikipedia entry. Just very funny. Hen like, is a misnomer. You showed me an actual blue hen. So what is that then? Right, but look. 
No, no, no. My point is that, like, it is a... <laughs> basically, in short, it is a blue strain of the American chicken, effectively, but it's not an actual, officially recognized chicken breed. So Wait, it's just one of those things that Delaware... So like, think, like I pimples. just noticed that the picture that you're showing me is of a rooster, but it's called a blue hen. Yes. So the whole thing yes. is just a complete misnomer. No, that's no, the blue hen exactly is the name. Uh, well, yeah, the, the blue hen is just the name for the strain of chickens, which makes it obviously, like you said, what's oh, going on here. Yeah. But I think that also why I think that plays in the fact that Yudi is just a non-binary icon. Yeah, that's probably yeah. why they decided to make it androgynous. That's really interesting. Like, again, there's like, this is why I had to start here, y'all, because I'm just like, we we had some areas to go into. We could do a whole episode of just like college sports and high school sports because this is the same sort of weirdness. It's not as frivolic as minor league sports, but it's still interesting. Um, I eagerly look forward to the holiday special where we go back through all of these teams and play uh, Smash or Pass with the Locos. <laughs> you know, you can totally do Smash or Pass with the Logos and or mascots. In fact, <laughs> let's go on to the next team here. This is, this is from a team that is... I'm imagining us doing like a tier chart of how bangable the Logos are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. The fucking butter, the buttermilk biscuits S tier. Nothing can top it. Yeah, uh, 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 I, I will show you one. Actually, I got. I, 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 I got one thing to point. All right, okay. Last thing I'm gonna point out here for college-related things here. So there's this the University of Stanford. Okay, Stanford's team name is the Cardinals. All right. Okay. okay. So what would you assume their mascot to be with the name Cardinals? A banana slug. It's pretty good. <laughs> Which, by the way, banana slug is definitely banana slug is like B tier. Ha I, <laughs> you have to close your eyes. You can't look at the banana slug while bagging them. I, I, I'll be the straight man and I'll just say I assume it's a cardinal. But what do you mean by a cardinal? L oh, oh, oh. Well, I was assuming the the bird. Are you talking about like the Catholic Is it a Cardinals? team of Tim Curry from the Three Musketeers movie? What, 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 what was that, Tom? What was that, Tom? So, oh, wait, is it like a Catholic cardinal? No, it's neither of those. There's one other meaning of the word cardinal. Um, like sin? Nope. Uh, what? it's a tree. It's just a tree. What? Because <laughs> the Stanford Cardinals. What is, is this Homestar Runner side gag? <laughs> it's the cardinal tree that's like a tree made of paper mache but th yes. there are actual trees that you could just use as your mascot like you could buy a fake is tree is the person behind them trying to light them on fire well wouldn't you more or less i mean like if you look at the actual logo for stanford university the logo has a tree yeah. in it they're the cardinals and that's also based on that logo i assume your college is called s tree so it Okay, so this this tree, it looks like it has a bunch of like felt leaves that it's it's not an enclosed costume like you'd see in most of those mascots. They're just like leaves Look, everywhere. Billy worked really hard on that in third grade art class, and you better not diss it. This is good for it's got big paper mache eyes by the looks of it and giant eyebrows. It it does have a very trogdor look to it. Excuse yep. me. <laughs> Mm hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 now, to be fair, this is an unofficial mascot it is a bootleg mascot, <laughs> but it is the fact that people care enough about this team to make bootleg mascots. And, and to be fair, to be fair, this has a heckin long Wikipedia entry as well for the Stanford tree. It is wow. the mascot technically for the band that plays at Stanford University games. OK, so this picture on that page, the picture that comes up here is a different mascot that looks very similar. It's just all red. And I should mention both pictures, they have like little human legs poking at the bottom and they've got like a little tiny hat placed all the way at the top of it. And this thing looks like it's nine feet tall. Yes. And that's because basically the trees are sort of designed and each each tree is a designed by a different person. So instead of being like a single contiguous mascot design, the designs are by the people who are performing as the tree at that moment there. So there's actually a list 
of every person who has been a uh, Stanford tree on the Wikipedia entry. Wow. And there's usually at this point here, it looks like for the most part, there's a new performer each year, essentially. So you know what? It's a fun tradition, you know, the yeah. school's not going to have a mascot, have some, have the students make it up, go for it, you know? And I, I do appreciate this you know, design because uh, they picked like a very deep red color, which uh, reminds you of both the bird cardinal <laughs> and like the, the uh, Catholic cardinals. That right. The, to be fair, the name, the Sanford Cardinal is in reference to the color red. That's okay. what it is, but it's not the bird. It's just the color. So interesting i also like i also like how the fact that this tree is both the worst and the best mascot depending on who you ask it's very good <laughs> all good works of art are polarizing yeah that's true absolutely that that is absolutely true and speaking about uh speaking about polarizing seymour the house is on fire <laughs> that's just the northern lights now um, <laughs> oh the, man uh, is one of the mascots aurora borealis i would wish that i wish we have something that's oh. we have something adjacent to that later on but um for now i have one technically cheating this is a minor league team i realized and not okay. a college team despite being misled this way but i have to bring this up I didn't realize there was actually a minor league basketball league called the G League. Um, the, and one yeah, of the teams in there the is from Gili. Yeah, I was going to say, it's pronounced Gili. <laughs> yeah, but Gili, yeah. Um, there is a team from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. Um, no, that's, that's clearly Mad Vance. <laughs> that is a cool logo. I uh, like the, the. I like the. Uh, is that a mantis? It's a Pokemon. I mean, okay. Well, obviously it's an ant, but yeah, it looks cool. I like it. That that's an A. Uh, and, but the thing, but the but the thing about their mascot has a uh, the mascot is simply Mad the Ant, which is obviously <laughs> the eighth member of Knuckles Chaotix. You know, <laughs> just like look at him, just <laughs> oh, like no, <laughs> oh no. No, that is that is an F. <laughs> he's ready to he's ready to beat that, the... that that is some that is a CG ant voiced by Woody Allen. Tragic. Okay, so oh, oh no. <laughs> we're looking at the mascot here, and it looks like an ant from the CG movie ants. It's very unpleasant okay, to look at. This the, is an F tier. Matt no, <laughs> no. Matt the ant and banana slug are definitely Tinder matches, and you know they're gonna uh, smash. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. I have so much respect for no. the banana slug. <laughs> <laughs> I also I, I like this one here on this right up here. This is from a this is from a WordPress article living with insects blog, and it talks about the history of the team and everything else here. But it notes out that they're called the Mad Ants because it's a historical reference to an 18th century battle fought near Fort Wayne by General Mad Anthony Wayne, chosen by popular opinion in 2007 for the <laughs> team name there. And so I just re I really like the picture you posted with the pointing that perspective of his smile is the epitome of tonight. You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like yeah. you know what? I would love to see Mad the Ad as like a, a pro wrestler. Yeah, like would they <laughs> would they be a face or a heel? Yes, <laughs> both at the same time. Somehow, everyone goes down before Mad the Ant. Like, Mad, like, like, listen, like Mad the Ant is there to tear down the system, but at the same time, like, make children cry. You know, Mad the like, Ant you, you grabs the mic from the uh, referee and says, "There's three people here: the good." The bad and the me. <laughs> he he looks like he would tell kids to eat their Wheaties before picking them up by the head and tossing them over the ring. <laughs> Sega <-ta -sachiro>, Sega <laughs> <Yeah. Sega -ta> <laughs> I love this one here. This line, this opinion for this blog here. The cartoon ant with the pearly whites behind the threatening mandibles has several nominations as the scariest slash creepiest slash most original mascot. <laughs> most original. Okay, definitely most original. I ain't gonna mm. argue with that. No, I am gonna argue with that. I I don't think this is particularly original. I think it's it's terrifying to look at, but it's it's just an ant. It is. You it's know. a bipedal ant. I mean, we've seen some very interesting <laughs> mascots 
in our previous episodes. I'm sure this mascot has a bunch of stands that have like fan accounts posting hot oh, pictures boy, of him. It probably does. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Would they be stand accounts or mad accounts? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so that is sort of like our little four way, a like little extension, an addendum on American teams. So are, are there are there fans called the Ant Farm? Oh, shoot, man. <laughs> They sure should be. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You know what? Get in uh, touch with me, Mad the Ant. You and I can make some money. Somewhere out there, there's someone whose online username is MadStan2006. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. It'd be great if this uh, mascot <laughs> wasn't invented until after then. You know, Stan <laughs> is an anagram of ants. That is true. <laughs> Boom. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That was just wow. Steve-O's head exploding. <laughs> that was my head going. Yeah. With that shocking revelation sinking onto our psyches, allow us to hop on a ship or boat or bottle ourselves and throw ourselves in the ocean. We're going overseas here. At least I think we are. Uh, let me, here's a question for you all. I want you to guess. I'm going to show you a logo. Based on this logo, where do you think this team is located? Rome. Uh, okay, so... That looks OK. So that looks like the stone lions from the New York library. And it says the New Yorker lions. So. Right. So. So where do you where do you assume this team is located? We would assume New York. All right. All right. That's a guess. What, uh, what do you what do you got for me, Steve? -O? What are you guessing here? I said Rome. OK, well, well, technically, Steve -O is closer. Oh, um, my God. <laughs> uh, because this is the logo for the New Yorker, the New Yorker Lions, which is an American football team from Braunschweig, Germany. Um, <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> they are part of. <laughs> so I am confused. Are you German or are you not German? <laughs> I know a little German. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> really? What's their name? I, I was making a reference to Top Secret. Oh, the new the new the, the New Yorker Lions is probably the most successful team of the German Football League, which is an American football league in Germany. Um, <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of other teams with not super great logos, but spectacular team names. OK, we have and I, I'm not German. I can't pronounce German. You'll have to be you'll have to excuse my terrible pronunciations or not. It's your choice. Um. So, for example, you got the uh, Straubing Spiders. Okay. Um, and their logo is just the letter S. This football game is brought to you by the letter S. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it almost looks like the S that every uh, middle schooler draws on their desk. Oh, mm -hmm. the uh, the chain S. Yeah. Yeah, the chain S. Very good. Yes. Um, some other ones here. And again, the majority here is just the, the name of the team. The logos. Not super great. We, we got a league later on with some amazing logos in general, some absolute bangers. But until then, let's get some European sports teams here. We got the Ma the Marburg Mercenaries. Just love that name. The mm -hmm. Mercenaries. Just gives you the idea that they're here just for the money. <laughs> they work hard for it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we got another team kind of in the same realm. Uh, OK, listen, OK, I got a question for you. Who do you what your team? You want to make your team name as inclusive as possible. What is the most inclusive team name you could think of? Um, the everyone. The Grays. Close. You need to go bigger than that. The the, the beige socks. Nope, nope, nope. More, more generalized. The human beings. More inclusive than that. Oh, you said generalized. Uh, anesthesia. No, no, no. That's a good name though. I love that. The carbon-based <laughs> life forms. More general than carbon-based life form. A gang of proto stars. The more general than that. Uh, the the living organisms. Even more general than that. <laughs> the the solid state of matter. The mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Nope. <laughs> you're thinking you're thinking micro. I'm thinking macro. Come on, think macroscopic. The Earth, <laughs> the Marburg entire universe. <laughs> there you are. It's the Frankfurt universe. <laughs> <laughs> 
I I need to find their mascots because they do have a mascot. The mascot's name is Frankie. So I need to find out this whole thing here. Frankie the all being. <laughs> he better be a hot dog. Yeah. If, if the mascot is not a hot dog, I'm rioting. <laughs> it's going to be a very small riot, Tom. Yes. It, I don't care. I, this is the hill I'm choosing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, it's it's in frankfurt and the mascot is called the frankie it has to be a hot dog you can't not you can't do this to me skit it's i i i, I, can't, I can't tell what the <laughs> mascot looks like i can't tell it doesn't make any sense uh okay 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 all right here here okay uh here's the thing here is frankie dropping a disc tape about you how disappointed you are gonna be in frankie okay this is a Apparently a real picture of Frankie. What? I don't know what this is. That is a California raisin that is also an ant. Isn't that, that's 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 grimace. That's grimace, yeah. <laughs> that's grimace. No, 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 no. That's no. grimace going to the Baltimore Ravens. Game. Okay, if you were to cross grimace with with the Duff Gardens surly. <laughs> no, no, no. The problem is that what <laughs> I'm looking. Is this, His is this, eyes are so dead like like he has lost faith in humanity decades ago the man interviewing him is pleased as pie and he's just like i just want to go home <laughs> all right so i'm gonna guess this is another picture of frankie but this must be a different outfit it's very terrifying oh what is this <laughs> wow <laughs> the, with its arms raised this is a very like um, are you not entertained? <laughs> My son made the exact same face the first time he saw me. <laughs> this is the face that um, Caesar says when he declares himself king of the apes. Like, <laughs> like the, the earth belongs to the apes now. It's oh, <laughs> so you'll never defeat Andros except wearing hammer pants. Like <laughs> <laughs> those, those pants. Uh, is his right leg twice as wide as his left? <laughs> Something like that. He's got Torgo legs. Like, <laughs> like they, they wanted to make a satyr and they couldn't make the, the costume the right way. And so it just looks like he has a giant bulge where his, the tops of his thighs are. Mm -hmm. So that's but these are examples of teams from like a country level <laughs> you know sports it, league. You so know, that's it looks like it looks like when he put his pants on, he didn't notice that five other pairs of pants were stuffed in the leg from the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the face as he realizes his mistake running no! onto the field. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why, God, why? And it somehow, it somehow brought him true enlightenment. And he's like, throwing his hands to the stars, his eyes agape, and he's like, I understand all <laughs> the face you make when you break the wheel of samsara. <laughs> I have seen the truth and the truth is Imajo. Life is <laughs> Imajo. <laughs> I think it's pronounced Imago. Imago. <laughs> it's it's the it's it's the uh, not it's the knockoff version of the television Amico. Um wait a uh, minute. No. Oh hey, that was a thing for a hot minute, wasn't it? Yeah, its mother is very proud. Anyways, um, we're making a lot of jokes about uh, things that um, that people theoretically aren't even going to see because it's a podcast. <laughs> One sort of branch of like minor league adjacent teams in the world are these sort of like tight regional country level professional sports leagues or sometimes amateur sports leagues. So there's another one that is just sort of an example of a. Uh, uh, I'm going to go over another one. We're going to slide over to uh, <clears throat> Finland's American Football League Ooh. called, I'm going to mispronounce this like crazy, uh, uh, Vatra Liga, which is basically that supposed was, to be Maple League. That wasn't so bad. I, I'm probably mispronouncing it anyways there, but like. Finnish is a very hard language to pronounce for someone who doesn't know it. Yes. And 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 to and I don't have a good logo. I need to see if I can find a mascot for it. But the most successful team in Vatar Liga is the Helsinki the Helsinki Roosters. So, you know, just okay. like that looks there pretty you go. Just like straightforward. Yeah, Wait, you know, it's just like pretty standard. That's the Denver Broncos logo again, but they made a chicken. 
<laughs> it's at least more different than yeah. the stampede. <laughs> But I don't know. It team- doesn't really hold a candle to the universe. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it's a little bit too narrow focus. I just noticed the Frankfurt Universe's logo looks like a sonic boom from Street Fighter 2. <laughs> the Helsinki Rooster's face is just Tom when he first saw um, Mad the Ant. I, just a <laughs> glare of disapproval. Now, I, I will say that the... Um, I will say that in this case here, <laughs> this does not get to exist. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll point out here that the Helsinki Roosters are the most successful team in the Vatra Liga hmm. with um, 22 titles uh, from that league there. They've been around since 1979 to give an idea of how long some of these leagues have been established hmm. for way longer than you would expect for a league like this of American football in a European country there. So. Well, I mean, there's again, a reason that's called football Americano. I would assume that people still like it in like niche circles, just the same way people here niche circle, like uh soccer. So <laughs> progressively less niche, but yes. So if they've been around for about 50 years and they have um 20 something titles, that's about, like they've won about half of the the uh, titles of the entire league. Yep. Did they just did they win the first few by default <laughs> because there's uh, nobody no. else in the league? No, although the first title they won was in 1982. Um, OK, so like they, they took a few years for them to get going, but they had like a seven year stretch from 2012 to 2019 where they won every year. Um, uh-huh. They also incidentally. Uh, they will play like friendly, friendly matches internationally. And apparently we're the first team to ever play in the U S in 1985. So, Oh, that's kind of, well, yeah. And like, that's all well and fun. Uh, they have rivalries with other teams in Helsinki, including the Wolverines and the 69ers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, 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 it's just the, the, the wow. 69ers is the name of the team. <laughs> the, that raven is aghast at the name. I don't see its mouth closed. I see its mouth like slightly open like, oh, what's the name? It looks like they just put a beak on a lightning bolt. You know, that's fair enough. You know, that's I kinda, pretty fine. I kind of see it. Yeah. We're going to pivot to baseball for just a brief hot minute here because I have to talk about <laughs> there is a Dutch Major League Baseball League. Okay. Um, but because it's in Dutch. And you're going and, and the you we're trying to just go with if you say Major League Baseball in Dutch, it ends up being oh no honkball hoof loss loss. <laughs> and I just love the name honkball. It's amazing. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that, that's pretty great. Um, one of the teams in there, I am trying to find a logo for them. I I think I found one logo for this team, is the Silicon Storks. <laughs> Like, it, there's not a lot of information about them, but I just love the name, the Silicon Storks. And I have it, it, here is here's a picture, apparently, of what their logo looks They're like. They're based in lo- the hag? The in the hag, Netherlands? That's right. Yes. The Storks. Wow. You know, and this is the team. This is a baseball club. This is a bad club that's been around since 1952. Wow. You know, I'm really surprised the hog didn't name. Their sports team, the War Criminals. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't storks kind of war criminals by nature? <laughs> so uh, I'm I'm noticing that the okay, so the logo here is a shield with a kind of um a, like a minimalist kind of drawing of a stork that it kind of I get a little bit of Joost vibes from it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Joe's Joe's did have a stork in it, but something about the way it's shaped. I don't I don't know what it is. I, I don't know either. <laughs> but now I, I, I got well, we're staying in Europe here. I got one last thing to touch on, and that is there is actually, like I said, an international American football league in there. It's called the European League of Football or ELF, if you want to go by that. And uh, to start, uh, I'm going to uh, just drop a logo on here without looking at the metadata of the image. Otherwise, I want you to look at this logo and tell me what logo is, what team is this logo for here? Once it loads up here. Oh. Oh, that is obviously like Hanson as an alt-rock band. 
It looks like a Viking. It looks like a Viking. I'm pretty ignorant about American football, but I swear there is a team that resembles this. Yeah, the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah. Right. Okay, there there is the team called the Minnesota Vikings. But that's not the Minnesota Vikings logo. That is the logo for a different team, the Vienna Vikings. Just they just have themselves as the Vienna so Vikings. So did they just like Take Minnesota Vikings, sharpie out Minnesota, and crudely draw in Vienna at first? I, I guess. It's part of the Austrian football. It's, it's related to the Austrian Football League, which has, you know, its own handful oh, of teams. Wow. Nothing too wild. The Salzburg Ducks are another team in that group with no Wikipedia page. Oh, but. I've had delicious Salzburg Duck before. I, I'm Okay, so I'm uh-huh. looking at the logo for the Minnesota Vikings next to it, and... It's not like uh-huh. as blatant as like the the Fellowship Mustangs, but um, it's the same color scheme. It's the same profile. Yep. It's the same. Yep. The same hair color. It's. Yep. It, it's it's not a copy, but it looks very much inspired by the same logo. It's like very similar. Yeah. And so and so basically what is kind of like you see have sort of like these representative teams of different areas that are like the higher level beyond just the national teams in the European League. And there's a handful of fun team names in there. I see like the Prague, uh, the Prague Lions. Um, you got like the uh, uh, let's see here, the Munich Ravens. Sure, that's fine. The Barcelona Dragons. That's Ooh. pretty good. Yeah. The Milano, the Milano Seaman. Uh, sure. Wait, hold on. Okay. No, never wait. Never mind. I, I withdraw my objection. Continue. What wait, 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 wait. Wait, what's what was the objection for? Nothing. Nothing. My my initial thing was gonna oh? say I didn't hear Milano's, I heard Manos. I thought you were gonna say the hands of fate. <laughs> no, no, no. It's Milano Seaman. Yeah, yeah. That's the t- is that what a team <laughs> named? There is another Frankfurt team that is associated with the European Football League as opposed to the German Football League. They're not as ambitious as the Frankfurt Universe. They're only the Frankfurt Galaxy. Wait, I'm just going to get the, the logo same, for them in here. It's the same city. <laughs> Even the logo is almost the same. No, the, well, the difference is that one plays for the German Level League, and this is one for the European Level League. Okay, That's what it is. So the German Level League is the entire universe. But the Europe yes. one is just a galaxy. <laughs> They're going down right, because you don't have the, the entire <laughs> league. No, no, no. It's a more selective number of, you know, stars than the entire universe. So it's, it's uh, you know, <laughs> but yes, th- this there's there's actually a good number of teams, though. There's, there's five, 11. Yeah, there's like uh, there's 17 teams in the uh, European League of Football. So, you know, hey, fair play. Um. And I and you know what happens with these leagues in some cases is that there's actually a hand, good handful of like American players out of college or out of the NFL who just join up in these teams to you know get work and otherwise, and so you'll see a mixture of like American and local talent in these teams, uh, which again I find to be pretty neat. But I have one other team. I I I have about the stage of our trip, Europe slash Australia. There's actually an Australian cricket league called the Big Bash League. I like that. Which is kind of wild. I like that. It's okay. kind of fun. There is a there's also something called first class cricket. That's a certain its own sort of certain league there. And Victoria, um, Victoria, you know, uh from Australia has yeah. a cricket team. If you look at the team name now, it's very unimpressive. You know, the logo is very basic too. That's not the big Ooh. thing here. The important thing is what was their name from 1995 to 2018? Well, h- hold on a second. I'm really confused by this Gordian knot of letters I'm looking at right now. What? Yeah, what that's is a very this? It's VAC. That's a very confusing logo. It's okay. There's a C, an A, and a V all interlocking. So it looks like one of yep. those brain teasing puzzles you get as a kid that like occupy <laughs> you during car rides. Can you separate yeah, all uh-huh. these letters? You look at it upside down, it's an old man, and right side up, it's like a, a young woman. Or like, <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Uh. So, um, I, I will say, yeah, I will say that the Victoria Cricket Team is just, that's the name of it now. It used to have a team nickname in the past, but decided to elect away from it. Their team was known as the Victorian Bush Rangers. I saw that. That's awesome. Okay. 
They used to be the Bush. I think it's the Bush Rangers until 2018 when they're like, you know what? That is We're such gonna drop a porn that. star name, though. Victoria Bush Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> the Victorian Bush <laughs> Rangers is just like, <laughs> and I, 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 I'm, I, I'm pretty sure there's a handful of reasons why. I'm just thinking like, like Victorian England. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm imagining a Power Ranger in Victorian England with just like, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> <laughs> lots of lots of pompous frills. I'm just mm-hmm. like, a, mm-hmm. like a giant poof of hair coming out of its waist and like, let them eat megazord <laughs> there's reasons why they could have changed the name but that being said the we, the name bush rangers is no longer with uh the vix there you know so they're you know they're ranging bush no more well again i have to think that because we're talking about australia yeah and bush yeah, and stuff like that that has a particular connotation that yes but anyways, back to the Big Bash League. Unfortunately, those names are kind of boring by comparison. The Big Bash League has team names like the Adelaide Strikers, uh, the Adelaide Strikers, the Brisbane Heat, the Hobart Hurricanes, the Melbourne Renegades, the Melbourne Stars. There's two Melbourne teams because, of course, there are yeah. the Perth Scorchers, the Sydney Sixers, and the Sydney Thunder. But it's just like the BL, <laughs> the BBL, I'll let the KFC... <laughs> BBL, I forgot the K- that K- that KFC sponsors this stuff. See, that, <laughs> that, it's so weird to me. Like the, the advertising's being taken too far. It, it's not enough that there is a car in like Monster Jam that's sponsored by Great Clips, but the car is called the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Every time they announce the name of the car, they have to say Great Clips. It's required. That's disgusting. <laughs> so they have to say the same thing about the KFC BBL. Yeah, so here's here's the thing that's making us laugh about the the BBL here. Okay, so it's the Big Bash League. The logo for the league is like a, a giant. It kind of looks like an H sort of wedge, yep. like a shield. It has BBL and it yep. has the KFC logo on top of it. Like they had to put their sponsor right in their logo. And this isn't for a team. It's for the entire league. Yep. So, like, yes, that that, that kind of yeah. wow. Also, here's a here's a <laughs> apparently on the Wikipedia entry for the Big Bash League, there's a section that outlined the champions of the league, which of course the Perth Scorchers are the most successful course, team, obviously. But in addition to that, there's also entry for the wooden spoons. The wooden spoon, <laughs> the wooden spoon. In Big Bash League is an imaginary and ironic award. Imaginary. In inverted quotes, which is said to be won by the team finishing in last place. Oof. Okay. That's oof. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, I just find it like silly that on the Wikipedia entry, there's actually something for that there. But anyway, <laughs> so that was like a little bit there. Now, it's actually kind of ironic or rather incidental or, you know ironic you that you mentioned about the how prominently displayed the logo is for oh, the no. uh, corporate sponsor mm-hmm. here yeah because that's a great segue into our last general destination for what we're talking about today okay mm-hmm. um and that is basically southeast asia effectively we're talking like korean and japan leagues in particular um for those that don't know a lot of sports teams in these leagues that are not like collegiate necessarily tend to have corporate sponsors in some capacity. And in many cases, those corporate sponsors, the names of them are part of the team name. So let's just start with the big, the biggest league in this whole area here, the Nippon Baseball League, uh, the Japanese Baseball League, which is sometimes derisively referred to as quadruple A baseball from the perspective Ooh. of Major League Baseball because it is more competitive than triple A baseball, but viewed as less competitive than MLB baseball. That being said, it is probably one of the most competitive non-American baseball leagues in the world. I would not, I don't imagine baseball being that competitive just by nature of a sport, but I get what you mean. <laughs> well, competitive in terms of just the quality of the talent. I happen to know Japanese baseball is really competitive. Really? It is really competitive. Absolutely. Like there's multiple anime 
and manga about yeah. just high school baseball. And high school yeah. baseball is a big huh. deal. Learn something new every day. I didn't know anime was a thing. And well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> anime, also known as animation, is a medium <laughs> in which people get paid way too little to do many, many frames of drawings so that corporate overlords can get paid a bunch of stuff due to merchandising. That's what it is. Anyway, um, the point being that there's a lot of Southeast Asian like baseball teams that are very competitive. So like Korea, Taiwan actually has a lot of big stuff in there. Hmm. Japan's like high school stuff is really competitive though. Um, and, but if you look at like some of these particular teams, um, almost all of them have some sort of corporate sponsor involved with it. Uh, for example, there is the, uh, the Yomiuri Shimbun Holdings Corporation. Uh, they are the, they are a corporate entity and they are the corporate sponsor for the Yomiuri Giants um, in the Nippon League there. Hmm. Uh, and so, like, you know, it's just the logo is pretty simple. It, it, the, the cap insignia is kind of neat. It kind of reminds me of, like, what American leagues are. But because the way yeah. the Y is stylized, it looks like some bones <laughs> like that. Like, that's a pretty cool looking insignia there. The Yeah, the 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 logo that you just showed us with the with a big G it, it's got a, it's very old school american baseball look like that's absolutely yeah it, like uh, and to keep in mind the yomiuri giants have been around since 1934 mm. so like you got to like it's it's these teams are long established they haven't updated their logo since <laughs> <laughs> i mean neither of the new york yankees but anyways yeah. Is that me throwing shade at the Yankees? Of course it is. Anyways. Well, I mean, I, um, I can't blame them. It's iconic. Absolutely. That's branding there. Yeah. So, but there's a whole bunch of other teams um, in, in Nippon League. But the one that I think that has the most incidentally funniest sounding name. Okay. It's the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters. <laughs> Delicious. Um, which the Delicious. company that owns it. Yeah, the company name is Nippon Ham. That's the company but it, but because of how you can say it, it implies that Hokkaido Nippon is the team and they're the ham fighters. They they fight the pigs. I'm picturing them both as like a team full of pigs and as a team full of hamsters <laughs> at the same time. Let's see if we can let's see if we can find some images of some more logos and stuff like that real that, quick. That would definitely be an anime. <laughs> like it, like take Hamtaro and make it into a baseball show like. <laughs> The Nippon Ham Fighters. That's that's adorable. I'm on board. You know, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to do. A, I'm gonna have to do a bootleg screenshot of this here. You'll have to <laughs> forgive me for this for for my sins here because I can't do this otherwise here. <laughs> but uh, this is an example of one of the logos used for some of the merchandising um, from like Fanatics and other sports merchandise things. So like you know, like you got some like Nippon <laughs> Ham Fighters. Nice. Take your time with this. I'm just going to keep making headcanon for a, sh a team that I just found out about five seconds ago. Listen, that's that's the beauty of this, right? You find out about a team, never heard it before, but now you're now you're the longest term fan. You know more <laughs> that the fans themselves don't know about. They're all hamsters. The leader has a brown spot over his eye that kind of looks like an eye patch. Uh, the, they actually did a partnership with Pokemon at one point. Um. So here's a great little logo. Oh wow! <laughs> yep, there's a there's, that uh, rules. That that is that is the best yep. fan art I have ever seen. That's no, that's not fan art. That's official. I know it's not fan art, but <laughs> it really does look like. Okay, it. so this is the same team. Yeah, it's the same. It's the, it's the, it's the ham fighters. The fighters. The the fighters is the name of the team. They're okay. the fighters. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. The the Nippon ham fighters and. uh and their yeah. their logo is straight up um Machamp from Pokemon holding a baseball bat and right. well I'm not saying oh it looks like it it is actually it yeah All right <laughs> yeah well yeah keep in mind that what happened was that uh the Pokemon company teamed up with other teams within Nippon Baseball League so that's not the okay. only one that got logos made for them um okay. I believe okay. can I point out how hilarious it is that their logo is a Pokemon when their name is branded after their sponsor and they're completely different well, things, yeah, they, well, they don't have ham in their logo, even though they're sponsored to promote their, the, the ham company. 
Well, this because this was a collaboration. This was a collaboration. Wow, event. this is so, so wild. Yeah, this was just a collaboration. Just like, for example, another another team within the Nippon League is the Yokohama Dina Bay Stars. And when they did a collaboration with Nintendo, they had a Starmy inspired logo like this one right here. Wow. So like, yeah. So like, it was just it's what it's, it again plays into like how big uh baseball is in Japan that they could actually have <gasps> Pokemon crossovers. Like, check that out. Here's a picture of Starmie pitching somehow. <laughs> I, I kind of also love how the logo says right on it, Pocket Monster Starmie. <laughs> That's not the yeah, name exactly. of the team. They're just, <laughs> they're just... Well, no, it's because it's a Pokemon product. That's a collaboration with the baseball uh -huh. team. Next up, next league we got is the Japanese Professional Basketball League, known as B-League. Or rather, B, <laughs> B, full stop league. Um, and huh. if you want a league that has the most banging, just team logos, this is where it's at. Okay, I'm just going to rattle off a bunch of these so you can take a look at these logos here. We got, for example, yeah. from Saga, uh, from the Saga Prefecture, the Saga Ballooners. Oh, that is. Oh, oh wow. no. Oh, no. Internet search that? results for that are probably. <laughs> oh boy okay this is this is a deep cut but when when you buy a commodore 64 it comes with like a little book that uh, explains how to use it and it has like a sprite instruction for how to do like a balloon sprite and because <laughs> of that there's like a hundred commodore games that are homemade that all have the same balloon sprite in it because they just <laughs> took it straight from the book <laughs> that's what this looks like yep so we got another one. We got the Ibaraki. We got the Ibaraki robots. Okay. Which is just yeah, yeah. a great name. I'm down. Love it. Uh, we also got teams with logos that look like they're straight up like Gundam or like anime movie logos, like the like Alvark Tokyo. Huh. Just like look at that thing. That is just crisp looking there. Hmm. I want a shirt with that written on it because that looks pretty amazing, honestly. Definitely there. something downloaded from defont.com. <laughs> I give it a little bit more respect <laughs> there. Uh, here, here's your grunge. Here's your uh, band logo here. The Toyama Grouses. <laughs> the Grouses? I dig the logo, but what? Why the Grouses? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so so this logo, it ha it has... um. The word grouse is like bending down at the middle and just coming back up and it has giant fangs coming out of it. And the G and the S at the beginning and end of grouse is kind of look like scorpion tails. Yeah, it's pretty great. And last the last one I'll share from this before we move on to our next stop um, is the most Gundam military logo Ooh. possible. The Gunba Crane Thunders. Hmm. That is like military patch territory. Yeah. You know, I was kind of hoping it would have an actual yeah. Gundam in their logo. I mean, like, listen, you they probably have that there. I will say that their former logo looks like something out of like a Sega Dreamcast game here, uh, which is just like, it's <laughs> oh, just that like is absolutely just fucking crazy taxi. Yeah. Yeah. I was just yeah. going to say it's. <laughs> Hey, 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 it's hey, hey, hey time thunders. for Gundam Are you Crane ready? Thunders. <laughs> and then it's just starts playing the, the Jet Set Radio playing. soundtrack. <laughs> I just imagine a basketball game where it's just the offspring playing the entire time non I mean, sure, that's a great game. <laughs> now, there's there's one reason I was inspired by doing this section here, Tom, mm -hmm. is the in the Korean Baseball League, there was this picture that came out, and some people... Uh, it, it was this picture oh, of wow. the NC Dinos holding up a sword after winning like the K the Korean baseball organization's cha uh, championship. And some people thought this was like what the trophy for the KBO was. But that is not actually true. Like that sword is really cool. But the reason why they're holding up a sword is because this is the NC Dinos, which are owned by NC Soft. The game oh, company. The oh, company no. that killed off my favorite free-to-play MMO, you bastards. <laughs> City of Heroes? Right. No, and so, uh, Dungeon right. Runners. Because they killed off City of Heroes, too. Yes. They killed off everything they did. 
and, and the thing about it is that that sword is probably a reference to like lineage yeah. or something, right? Yeah. You know? So anyways, that's pretty fun and cute, but I have the, I'm, I saved the best for last in my opinion, at least. And that is the X league. No, not that X league. We're not talking about the league that is like women in bikinis playing football. I'm talking about the Japanese X league, which is the highest level of their American football um, stuff, which has been around since 1971. Wow, that's wild. This one has a bunch of great team names, even in the lowest tier leagues, like the Sato Construction Standing Bears, which has <laughs> no links to anywhere, and I can't find any evidence it exists. Standing Bears? The Standing Bears. <laughs> but and this is not <laughs> Steam Tam's AI? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> But then we get up to the X1 Super League. This is the top level league. So this features a lot of corporate sponsors, which leads to very funny names. I'll just list off oh, yes. my favorite. You have you have the Panasonic team, the Panasonic Impulse. Okay. Um, and yeah, there's no logo even leak these teams. You have to like out go out and search. For oh, them. that's gross. It sounds like a fucking tagline. Do you have yeah, the impulse? Exactly. You have the IBM Big Blue, which is just <laughs> chef's kiss. What, the chess engine? Yeah, this is the IBM. Yeah, that's just, just a supercomputer. Well, Big Blue is also IBM's, like, kind of nickname, right? That's just, yeah. Oh, uh, you have the IBM Big Blue. But then I got the last two that I like. I don't know which one of these I like more because they both sound like jokes in their own ways. I'm going to start with the one that, that <laughs> seems more like a gag, but it's absolutely not. And that's the Tokyo... Gas creators. <laughs> <laughs> the company is Tokyo Gas, but the name is the creators. Oh. I'm like, who are you fooling oh, here? No. This is this just gets worse White and worse creators. the more you think about it. Yes, exactly. Oh, no. But then people, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cleanse your brain with my favorite one here, and that is the Asahi Soft Drink Challengers. And that is <laughs> this is right up there with the Nippon Ham Fighters. I just like the idea of a bunch of people looking at these soft drinks and being like, "Hey, listen, Cherry Dr Pepper, we're gonna fuck you up and chug you, and you can't stop us." I'm just imagining someone naming their team after the Pepsi Challenge, like. <laughs> 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 but yes that is like but that is the x league is again that's the final test when the players are drafted they have to do the pepsi challenge they give them two drinks it's like which one is coke and which is pepsi i was like uh this one's coke uh, you are off the team uh oh boy but yes the x league stuff unfortunately there's not a lot of footage of it you can actually find uploads of x league stuff which i'll finish you i'll, I'll send you off to bed with these thoughts here okay in, in america we have the super bowl in canada you have the mm -hmm. gray cup and in american college football we have a bunch of bowls like right. the rose bowl the orange bowl and the stuff dog like that bowl. do you want to guess what the <laughs> top level um uh football bowl game is in japan called um mm. uh the the hello kitty champion fun time bowl i will i'll give you a hint it is just a it's a food item and it, and it's just and it's it's simple there's no corporate sponsor here in this case here it's just it's is a it food just item. ramen the salad bowl well that, that would be japanese enough not quite the but you're on the right bowl? track yes the japan championship rice oh, bowl no which is the which is a tr competition that where the winner of the japan x bowl that's awesome play which is the the professional league plays against the champion of the college football league which is the what are what? the koshian bowl but mm -hmm. what, okay but wouldn't the professional team be made up of like the best players taken from college? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the, and and the, yet sometimes and yet sometimes they lose to the college team. Wow. Um, and last but not least, I'll point this out here. What do you think is the Koreans na uh, American Football Association championship game called? The Kimchi Bowl. You are correct. It is the Kimchi wow. Bowl. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure how often it's been, uh, you know, has been running for, but they did have a thing called the kimchi bowl, which is also very delightful. And uh, yes, so there is your staggering, sprawling, uh, just crashing through. That was a journey. Yes, I told you it was going to be a journey here.
around the world in some I'm, I'm imagining of- like the Japanese race bowl is like the professional team against the college team and they just slaughter them. Whereas the Korean one, the kimchi <laughs> bowl, is a Korean team versus a straw man version of a North Korean team where they have no actual players <laughs> and they just get demolished. <laughs> now, I will point now I will point out this though. Now the the X League, you know, basically currently uh the Rice Bowl is only X League related stuff as of the mm-hmm. last two years. It, up until 2021, it was the professional league versus the college. And up until 2009, there was a pretty even split between the college and the professional teams. And then starting in 2010, the professional teams just, just ran the table. They just, <laughs> they just demolished the college teams. Um, but that being said, you know, there you go. Uh, way too much information that you ever could have known about bizarre team names and mascots from around the world and Finland. No, t- <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for taking us on that journey. <laughs> I, I listen. I I am I'm completely taxed up mentally. I just hope that the this was entertaining. I'm about to go write my banana slug mad the ant fanfic now. <laughs> oh, no. Listen, I, 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 this is oh, why no. I opened with those. Opened I, with those because <laughs> I already get get Buster Man Woman on this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's no way I could not have got in here without giving you some fan fiction Friday fodder here with yes. these college sports mascots, which, by the way, there's got to be fan fiction about these college sports mascots. Of oh, course there, there absolutely are. is. Oh, boy. A lot of RPF and real life mascot stuff. Huge. <laughs> not sure about the banana <laughs> slug. I want to get in on the ground level on that, though, because I would like to establish a headcanon that makes Tom upset. So my question to you too is what was your favorite item from today, kids, before we go turn ourselves in for the night? Uh, I, I feel like my memory is short on this, so I, I think I gotta go with the Tokyo gas creators. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sticking with Mad fe- the Ant. Mad the Ant is very good. Um I, I love the cursed series of blue head pictures that were on the article yep. for yep. for you for for Yudi, just like <laughs> the cryptid lore of beauty is very wild. Very <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, let's go steam some steam some hams in our nightmares, and uh, yeah, you know. Next time you'll hear have me here. I don't know what the hell I'll conjure up, but it'll be way too much information and way too little time. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for today. Thank you to everyone for listening. Please review us and whatever you're listening to us on. It doesn't have to be a good review. Any review is fine. If you're not sure what to say, just say (laughs) these people are a bunch of sad loser nerd monkeys. Until next time. And then Banana Slug revealed his sopping member. (laughs) <laughs> he just caught it right before and, he says member. And bad and dis- dislodged his jaw. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and Yudi and Yudi looks on with an approving nod. Every incarnation of Yudi at the same time looked upon with judgmental and approving nods. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>